Here's our first interaction. Um, the one that you have drawn is the um, rubber band one. Okay, so here you can see that this interaction, depending on where you want to look, will be a stretch, okay, because the rubber bands, right, are going to be stretched by this weight, okay, and you can see that because you can actually see that the rubber bands have deformed and stretched a little bit, okay. Uh, the same thing happens if it's a string, right, it's still stretching, it's just not as obvious of a stretch, okay, so anything that is stretching, um, will be between, you know, like, I don't know, the weight and the string, okay? All right, for number two, uh, this is the object on the foam, okay? So you can see here, when I put something heavy on this foam piece, the foam compresses, all right? So this one, we would choose compression, okay, between the foam and the weight, all right? And it's pretty clear that the foam is compressing, Okay, but we want to think about if the block is also compressing. Even though we can't see it, we're going to think about that. Okay, same thing here, right? This is still going to be a compression um, interaction, but we just can't see it. It's not as obvious as the foam, but there's still a compression of the little um, molecules in there. Okay, for uh, that one. Okay, all right. Uh, the third one is when I push this across, all right? So if you can see... Uh, hopefully you can see the bristles are sort of bending to the left. All right, so this one we would call a shear force because it's sort of like a sideways rubbing kind of a force. All right, so that would be a sliding shear force between the bristles and the block. Okay, and then number four, slightly different. Okay, and this one's a little bit hard to see, but we're gonna, how can I do this? Okay, so we want to look at the, the bristles now, okay, are being sort of uh, bent also, but now they're bending to the right, which is a little bit different, right? Because you can see the tire is sort of pushing those bristles to the right. So that would also be a shear force between the uh, car or the car tire and the brush.